Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Nico and Rich and what we're gonna be demonstrating for you today on video is Nico's ability to understand and respond to all of his formal on-leash obedience commands. The corrections and more so with Nico the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give here at school is a gentle tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. And Nico has been taught to respond to that gentle tug and release as a correction. That whatever it is you're doing, we're not loving it right now, so please stop that. And we do a verbal command with it at the same time. Now he is at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, and the command is Nico heal. Now at this point, Nico has a job to do, and that is to stay even with your left leg during walks. He cannot be allowed to pull you or get out in front of you because then he's leading the pack, not you. So this is all about you being the leader and taking control, beautiful automatic sitting, so that when you're walking down the street and you stop to cross traffic, he sits automatically without being told to wait for his next command. <laughs> and the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise you do not use his name. He's learning to lengthen out his stays and this is good for his self-control, independence and maturity. When Rich returns back to him, now he got up, but that's okay. Rich just told him no, lifted up on his leash. Nico sat back down, and he gets praised for a good job. And they take off healing again. And all of these obedience exercises have a purpose. People don't understand that by teaching your dog obedience, you are also teaching him that you are in charge that you've got this, that he is safe, and that you will take care of anything that happens and he's not needed, as far as protection is concerned. The next exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the come on command. Nico come, and he comes right in front, and he sits. Nico has a habit of wanting to sit on your feet, and it's, you know, it's part of his little insecurity thing, and that's fine, as long as he's coming and sitting. And you can see that he's very relaxed, he's not stressed. Rich leaves him in another sit-stay. And he calls him in and he comes right in. If he doesn't sit, Rich will tell him no sit. And he'll put him back to heel. I'm moving this camera back a little bit, Rich, if you wanted to get up in the shade a little more. For your downs, I'm moving back. We're gonna get him out of the sun. It's really not too bad out here, but it's still a little warm in the sun. Because the next exercises that we're gonna be demonstrating for you are your down commands. Now your first down is a down from a heel position. So with Nico seated at your left, you take your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. And again, practice your exercises in the house as well as outside. When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him, and that is a self-control thing and a trust issue that he allows you to get behind him. And they heal out of that, and Rich will demonstrate that again for you. I think you guys are gonna be amazed when you see what he's accomplished. And I want you to keep it going because when you have your baby, he's going to need to be well behaved. He can't be acting the way that he was acting when you brought him here. Now this time, with him in a down stay, Rich will do the come on command again. Good job. <laughs> there you go. 
Now the very last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is your down from a distance. We're going to have a ton of instructions for you and they're only to help you. You're wonderful doggy parents. I just want you to be able to keep this going at home and I want you to keep us posted. Rich is going to leave him in a sit stay. He turns away to, are you getting bitten by bugs? Down. Down from a distance. That was beautifully done. Now we have demonstrated for you all of your formal on-leash obedience commands and this is going to be an amazing help to you when you get him home. I know Rich just picked him up but I'm going to encourage you to not carry him around, not let him be with you quite as much as you were because it was creating this bond that's really, really tough and he takes it the wrong way. He takes it like you need protection and he needs protection and we don't want that anymore. So we have done a complete 180. We're very, very proud of Nico and our trainers. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and we will see you Thursday.